I am Dr. Shailaja, who is consultant obstetrician and gynecologist in Sri Krishna Clinic, situated in J.P. Nagar, Eighth Phase. The treatment options for infertility depends on the cause of infertility. So, whether it is the female partner or the male partner. Coming to female partner, so first. The ovaries. If there is no ovulation, we have options like ovulation induction drugs. So if they do not respond to this, we even have surgical options like ovarian drilling. So coming to fallopian tubes. If there is any blockade in the fallopian tube, if it is a milder form, then we can surgically correct. If it is a severe form, usually we will go to in vitro fertilization, that is test your baby. The uterine problems, see septum, polyps, any adhesions or any tuberculosis in the uterus can be corrected either through drugs or through surgical correction. So, whenever very rarely the uterus will not be able to accept the baby, okay, that is called the recurrent implantation failure. See, fertilization is happening, that means sperm and ovum both are joining, but they are not able to get embedded in the uterine lining. Such problems are usually tackled by surrogacy. That means growing the baby in rented womb, in other women's womb. Coming to cervical problems. So there could be immunological problems or infectious causes. So infections can be treated with medications. Immunological problems usually we deal with IUI, that is intrauterine insemination. Will bypass the cervix, will deposit the sperms in the uterus so that they will not come in contact with the cervix. Coming to vaginal problems. Vaginal problems usually infections which we will treat with the medications. If at all there are septum, we will surgically correct it. If there is no vagina at all, we can even create the vagina. These are all the various causes for infertility in female. Coming to male partner. If he has milder abnormality, then usually we treat him with antioxidants, multivitamins, which will most of the time correct and give you the good outcome. If the problem is very severe, then we have options like, so we can go for IUI if the sperm count is about 10 million or we'll go for IVF whenever the sperm count is somewhere between 5 to 10 million and if it is less than 1 million, then we have to go for ICSI, that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. We take one egg, one sperm and directly inject and make them fertilize. After it gets fertilized on third or fifth day, we will directly put it into the uterus. These are all the various options available. It's a vast topic. So better you sit with your doctor and discuss in detail.